Welcome back to Malamic Art. My name is Mickey, and um, today I'm doing a part two of the look at the pigment PR101, which is uh, pigment red 101. And um, I'm kind of swatching them out here, and I'm just going to kind of tell you what I have on the left-hand side. Um, I started with 12, and I decided to do, what do we have here, 8. So from the top, I have color, Colors of Nature Vermilion Red. And then um, next I have uh, Lucas 1862, and I had two before, but this one I decided just to choose one for um, each brand name, or for each brand, and this is um, Lucas English Red Deep for the second one down. I know I'm kind of getting ahead of myself, but I don't know if I want to talk through this whole thing. I think I just want to let you um, kind of see what you can see. Um, so the next one is Turner um, Watercolors and the um, the name of it is Mars Violet. It's the darkest of all of the um, watercolors. The next is um, a Red Ochre by Penholder Art who is a um, someone who makes their own paints and really well because the Penholder Art's uh, paint is extremely pigmented like and very opaque too I think it's one of the most opaque here um, and after pen holders uh, red ochre <coughs> there is cores uh, Venetian red and this Venetian red is very finely ground um, and out of all of them is like the most finely granulated granulated um, and also next is the M. Graham's Terra Rosa, which is um, a lot redder and deeper and when it applies. But um, And all of these kind of apply orange and then they dry this really different color. Um, so M. Graham's Terra Rosa is no different. Um, but it is the most sticky out of all of them. I have had such a problem with this paint. It's gorgeous, but... It's just so sticky that when I put it in the pan to dry, forget it. It will not dry at all, um, which is really interesting for a PR101 um, paint in a pan. Usually they really dry and they crack, but M. Graham's, with the honey that they add in there, they're constantly um, wet. Um, and the next two are by Shinhan. Um, the first one is uh, Shinham PWC. I think in the States we get PWC. And overseas, um, in the East, they have SWC. And then they also have a professional line, which is uh, less uh, professional. <laughs> it is, they say, pro it's very confusing. But the PWC is supposed to be a lot more extra fine than the professional. And um, in each set that they give you, the um, they give you two very different ones. Um, both are singly PR101. And Shinhan says this very, I'm sorry, PWC says this very golden, um, very finely ground PR101. And they call it Burnt Sienna. And you'll see it come up next. Um, and the last but not least is uh, Shinhan's Professional, um, and it's pretty similar with um, with the others, save for that it is a little bit brighter red than the others. So two very different colors from the same pigment, and that's why why I did this um, so that we can kind of see the range of the pigment PR 101. There's just so much range. Um, and with these last, this one that I'm doing the line on right now, it's very, very yellow. And I can see it very, being very useful for some amazing greens. So I'll leave it here, and um, I'll see you in the next part.
Okay, so I'm back with the um, results. And um, I have a split primary here with um, Viridian and a Dioxazine uh, Violet or Purple, depending on the brand, whatever they, they call it, different names. Um, and I chose to use the Colors from Nature Vermilion Red, which is the Pure 101, PR 101, only the 101s here. And then the Lucas English Red Deep, which is, um, which is this one, rather than using the other. I just wanted to choose one of the one of one per name per brand. Ugh, can't talk today. Um, and then the Turner's Mars Violet, and then Penhold Arts uh, Red Ochre, and Core Venetian Red, and Graham's Terra Rosa. And well, I don't even know if I left those camera. Okay, yeah. So and down here I did um, Shinhan's both of them, the um, PWC and the Red Ochre because there is such a difference between them both. I mean this one is extremely yellow, it's the yellow, yellowest of all and it made a green with the, with, with the phthalo blue. Let's get these off there. So you can kind of see a close up of what we got. So the Colors of Nature, I made it really neat, um, in fact all the way down there's this really cool granulation effects happening here with these it makes this really earthy um, color um, with a the separation between the um, the PR 101 and this uh, Viridian which is a Magello Mission Gold PG7 Viridian um, so I used Thala Blue New Gamboge by Daniel Smith, um, Magella Mission Gold again with a permanent red, Pierre 11112, Ultramarine Deep, Lemon Yellow, Magenta, Viridian, and a Dioxazine Violet. And um, I used a different paper for this, so these came out a little different. Um, but there we go this way. And um, I liked the violets that you can get with the Daxazine Violet in this, but I don't think I went really heavy with the PR101 pigment on the, this, so I don't think it really gives you a good example. Although, I got a really cool uh, chocolatey brown with the PWC Burnt Sienna. So, I don't know, I think it's really fun to use this uh, pigment. I think it's beautifully granulating. Um, there's some of them that like to backwash a little bit more than others. Um, I would say that I really like the English Red Deep, which it just gives this really creamy um, all thumbs up. But there's a lot of backwashing that happens with this one. Um, Turner's Mars Violet, they really all have a use. It's really hard to pick a favorite. Um, but I, I, I think that this um, PWC's uh, yellow, yellowish one, really helps make really cool colors. There's just, it's just so neat. So, um, yeah, so this is uh, Dan's Penholder Arts uh, uh, handmade uh, PR101 Red Ochre, and it is the most pigmented. I had to go really light to match the others. His is like, all pigment, barely any binder, and you can tell because it's it's solid in there. Um, the other handmade pigments are from Colors of Nature, and um, they were actually lighter um, than the rest. So, if you want to buy handmade, go see Dan. He does really good paints. Um, unfortunately, I've only tried two companies that do handmade, Dan's and Colors of Nature. So I am a little biased, but I mean they. It just, the proof is right here. So, um, I appreciate you taking a look. And I really want to use some of these to do a um, painting, a recipe paint. So, I'm going to use only these paints here to make something. So, we'll see what I come up with. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.